Jesus. Do, 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 do. Why is the clip called Tough Apple Chocolate E Rain? Gotcha. Jump, Alyssa, on the very dangerous and probably painful. Ow! Oh, her hands. Oh, her hands. Oh, you ever like see those big steel cables that just shred your skin? That's what I'm picturing here. Oh, an arrow. How lovely. I will take this. Thank you. Oh God, this is giving me anxiety. This is awful. I hate this. I hate everything about this. Oh God, no! I need Osha to to look at this. Mysterious lever, got you. You know, just to, I'm just gonna say this, if your god has cloven feet like this, you should really rethink whether or not your god is good or not. I'm just saying. Pull the crotch lever! is this goddamn clock tower? Clank, 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 clank. <clears throat> okay, I have to ask. Is this the only game with an actual gigantic clock tower? Or are there big ass clock towers like this in one and two also? Safe spot. much I'd enjoy one and two being a stalker game that's also a point and click. Does that make sense? I feel like the precision would be very annoying. I don't know, we should play the remaster. Maybe we should play the remaster up. Father Burrows! We're going to ignore the floaty rocks, right? Grandpa. I've been waiting for you, Alyssa. Don't trust him? You don't know how hard I tried to find Butter's Castle. Did you, you know? Become one with you. <laughs> 
Stop talking like that! Searched and searched for three years, and at last I found it. Burroughs Castle used to stand in exactly the same spot where the Hamilton House is now. It's not a coincidence. It's all the entities doing. This is our destiny. Grandpa! <laughs> Don't look so sad. Once the ritual of engagement is complete, you and I will become a new entity, and we can be together forever. No! Please, Grandpa, come to your senses and give me my mum back. Give me mummy. That's all I want, dude, is mummy. Your mother is right there. Mum? Da -dun. Do you want mummy of mine or mummy dearest? Mom. Or mummy one and two? Nancy betrayed me more than once. She married that weak, lily-livered, good-for-nothing Philip. And then she tried to prevent me from becoming one with my most precious granddaughter. That's a good thing! That's why she's there. There was no other way, Alyssa. Damn you! You're not my grandfather. I don't know who you are anymore. But I know that I'm a ruder. I'll destroy you and save my mother. Oh, you mean the mummy? Uh, what's it called? Mission Impossible? Mummy Protocol? As I call it, as Lord Burrows. In a few minutes, the clock will strike twelve, announcing the arrival of your fifteenth birthday. He's huge. Then the ritual of engagement will commence. We're going to use all of our special arrows on him, all of them. We're just going to start bashing him with special arrows. <laughs> now, Elisa. Time to lie down on the altar and prepare to surrender your heart to me. He sounds like a bad skeleton impersonation. Oh, good God. Oh, not tentacle ropes. Oh, my God. Dang it, Demis. I'm going to laugh if his head just comes right off by a gear or a cog. But what about my mother dear? Damn it. All hail entities of the earth. Burroughs and I will now carry out the ritual to become a new entity. Ghosts haunting the human realm. Subordinates dwelling in the shadows. Gather here to witness the glorious ritual of engagement. The time has come at last, my dearest Alyssa. Merge into one entity with me, so that we can be together forever! <laughs> Alyssa! Power up time! Hell yeah, Alyssa! I would laugh if she was actually born on like 2.32 a.m. and her sacrificing at midnight failed. Somehow he lived. Somehow Dennis returned. All right, let's, let's use up all of our arrows. What we got here? Lord Burroughs, 115 victims, sentenced to 2,280 years with double life bar.
Uh oh. This is the end. Uh oh. <laughs> what just happened? That's what I get. That was my bad. Oh no! Oh my god! Oops. Okay, come on. You guys gotta, you can't lie. That was a pretty dope ass, like, fatality right there. Okay, we just, we can't just spam our arrows as much as I want to, because that's fun. All right, where do we, where do we start off? At the start of the boss battle, I hope? How nice is the game? Yes! Start of the boss, but good game! Good game. I I appreciate you very much, game. Yeah, I can appreciate a sick ass animation. Yeah, almost like a final boss. That'd be like so cruel. We're just going to keep chipping away at him, baby. Trying to bind him is really difficult. I don't know if that's worth it. making progress. Oh, gotta watch out for the blood pool now. Close. 
Oh, he's much closer to me now. Come on. Oh, shoot! Oh, thank God he pulled me down.
ran into it. Where is he? Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! child <laughs> sort of flash of face now be a good girl and grab my hand what's the matter Alyssa don't you want to live happily with me for all eternity no Alyssa, you God look at those eyes Alyssa, take strength from me. Ready to give up now? Today is Alyssa's There's tenth no birthday. escape! Ruder powers will become visible any Yes, yes, yes! Did we do it? Yes! You just got clocked! I knocked your clock off!
Dennis. God dang it, Dennis. Dennis. Mom, we did it. We did it, Mom. Is that it? Yes! Ladies and gentlemen! Woo! Oh my goodness gracious. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for Clock Tower 3. I did not expect us to beat the game today, so we played it twice. And we beat it just about five hours or so. What did we think? I loved it! I love this game, holy crap. Uh, the motion capture, like I was gushing throughout the whole game, the motion capture is absolutely phenomenal. The character Alyssa is such a breath of fresh air for horror survival heroines. Uh, usually you have like one of two stereotypes for a lady heroine in horror games. Either they're a total badass like Jill or they're a damsel in distress uh, like Ashley. You have characters like in our, our girl in Rule of Rose who is not really capable of defending herself. The same with our girl in um, The Haunting Ground. Uh, like She can kick and she can lay traps, but overall she's pretty helpless. Alyssa's pretty badass. Like in all the cutscenes, she like climbs on things, throws things, smash, smacks them. I like the trap system where you can lure the, the um, stalker to a certain location and like set them on fire or electrocute them or all sorts of fun things like that. The bosses are all unique. They all have a great personality to them. Levels are just short enough in terms of design where you never feel like you're running in circles constantly and getting irritated because they're, you know, the stalker's always chasing you. They're nice and compact. Very compact. Um, sub, superb voice acting. I just realized my headset's been backwards this whole time. The voice acting is fantastic. Again, great, great motion uh, capture. The music was good. I love the holy water system where you could just fight back by throwing it in their face. Uh, the puzzles were just enough to keep your head scratching without like making you smash your controller. Game overs were frequent, but not so much so where we were like we didn't want to play anymore. The bosses, actually, the bosses were kind of easy up until the final one. You know, once you bound them, it was kind of game over for these guys. Outside the final boss, I don't think we ever died to a final uh, to a boss level. But yes, Clock Tower 3, worthy prequel to The Haunting Ground. Uh, I loved it. I absolutely love this game. I had a lot of fun. Short, sweet, to the point. Um, just really, really cool. I'm a little bummed out, though. We never figured out where that ghost's head was. I think that was the last ghost we needed, you know? But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. A lot of fun. Super fun game. Super fun game. Uh, we're going to sit through the credits, enjoy the great music. Uh, and see what if there's like after credit scene or things that we unlock. Oh my god, this was a lot of fun. Like, sincerely. A lot of fun. So, I'm glad people were able to... I'm glad everybody was uh, able to join us and just enjoy the hell out of this game. I hope everybody had fun. I won't lie though, any tension 
that we had um, throughout the game completely vanished in that third chapter when the Scissorman, the Scissor, uh, Scissor Bro and Scissor, Scissor Sis showed up. Uh, because they were just so over the top and silly. Um, you know, that was, this was fun. This was fun. I liked, I liked being able to turn the tables on the enemies by throwing holy water in their face like that. Holy crap. I, I truly enjoyed myself. Kenji Fukasaka. No. Fuka. Fukasaku. Kenji Fukasaku. Thank you so much for directing this brilliant, brilliant game. I'm not a fan of stalker games, but the fact that we could defend ourselves, hide, and have these cool little traps. This was fun. I'm so happy we played this. There's always that fear when you play. Uh, horror games if it's going to be frustrating or just fun. This one was fun. Yes! Four hours, 35 minutes. Not bad, everybody. I know in stream time it was a little longer because I don't think it counted all the times we redid the final boss. Yep. That was true. Lots of graphic violence, that's for damn sure. So what did we unlock? We got a theater mode. It's too hot. Okay, so we get to watch... Oh, these are so slow. All right, but we can see all the cool endings. Or uh, scenes. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. So yeah, my software rendering thing still has issues with that, huh? It's fine. Whatever, I'm sorry about the graphical problems that we dealt with. Oh, there's a gallery too. We'll check that out later. All right, cool. Well, thank you, Fighting. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Klaus. Thank you, Ali. Thank you, Proto. You're all fantastic people for joining us. Um, we'll have to decide what to play next week. I don't know yet. Until then, everybody, I am Mazer. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.